The latest figures from the Scottish Government indicate there are around 850,000 people living in Scotland with some form of hearing loss and of those, 70% are over 70, some 595,000. Across Great Britain, there are believed to be 12 million adults living with a hearing condition or deafness, however, just 44,838 of them are receiving extra financial support through Personal Independence Payment PIP, Adult Disability Payment ADP, or Attendance Allowance. Some 8,180 people over state pension age are currently receiving either £68, 10 for the lower rate or £101.75 for the higher rate of attendance allowance each week for a hearing condition. Payments are set to rise to £72.65 and £108.55 respectively from April next year. There are 15 main hearing conditions being supported through these three disability benefits, but this is not a definitive list as the benefit supports an ever-evolving list of conditions. If you, or someone you know, below state pension age has a hearing condition, you should consider making a new claim for PIP or ADP, which has now replaced new claims for PIP in Scotland, find out more here. If you, or someone you know, is 66 or over, and living with a hearing impairment, you should consider making a claim for attendance allowance. This is a tax-free benefit currently supporting nearly 1.5 million people across Great Britain, including 132,618 living in Scotland. It is designed to help people of state pension age with daily living expenses and can also help them stay independent in their own home for longer. It's important to be aware that unlike PIP or ADP, there is no mobility component for attendance allowance, it only provides support for the extra cost of daily living. Attendance Allowance Claimants for Hearing Impairments, Scotland, 786 England, 6,956 Wales, 628 Living Abroad, 15 Total, 8,382 Hearing Conditions These are common hearing issues being supported through disability benefits, but if your condition is not listed, it doesn't mean it's not supported and may fall under the unknown category. Conductive hearing loss chronic secretory otitis media chronic separative otitis media conductive hearing loss, other causes, type not known conductive hearing loss due to trauma mastoiditis otitis externa, chronic otosclerosis sensory neural hearing loss deafness, congenital labyrinthitis Meniere's disease presba acousis sensory neural hearing loss. Other causes, type not known sensory neural hearing loss due to trauma other hearing conditions mixed hearing loss other diseases affecting hearing and balance below is an overview of the benefit and how to make a new claim to DWP. Full details about claiming attendance allowance can be found on the Gov. UK website here. What is attendance allowance? Attendance allowance helps with extra costs if you have a physical or mental disability or illness severe enough that makes it hard for you to look after yourself, it does not cover mobility needs. You do not need to have someone caring for you in order to claim. Who can make a claim? You should consider applying for attendance allowance if you have a disability or illness and need help or supervision throughout the day or at times during the night even if you do not currently get that help. This might include, help with your personal care, for example getting dressed, eating or drinking, getting in and out of bed, bathing or showering and going to the toilet help to stay safe you should also consider applying if you have difficulties with personal tasks. For example if they take you a long time, you experience pain or you need physical help, like a chair to lean on. Attendance allowance is not just for people with a physical disability or illness. You should also consider claiming if you need help or supervision throughout the day or night and have, 
a mental health condition learning difficulties a sensory condition if you are deaf or blind how much could I get on attendance allowance you could get either 68 pounds 10 or 101 pounds and 75 pence a week depending on the level of care you need because of your condition which is paid every four weeks and works out at 272 pounds 40 and 407 pounds respectively payments will rise to 72 pounds and 65 pence for the lower rate and 108 pounds 55 for the higher rate from April 8th as part of the DWP's annual benefits operating. Payments are usually made in arrears, every four weeks. You can spend the money however you like and it could help you stay independent in your own home for longer. This might include, paying for taxis helping towards bills paying for a cleaner or gardener can I claim even if I have savings and other income? Yes. Attendance allowance isn't means tested so it doesn't matter what other money you have coming in or how much you have in savings either, Terry's no limit. It's tax free and you'll be exempt from the benefit cap so you won't have money taken away from any other benefits. Will attendance allowance affect my state pension? No, it won't affect your state pension and you can even claim it if you're still working and earning money. How does attendance allowance affect other benefits? The other benefits you get might increase if you get attendance allowance, these include, extra pension credit housing benefit reduction council tax reduction you can check your state pension age on the gov. UK website here. How do I make a claim? You will need to complete a long claim form when you apply for attendance allowance. It might seem daunting at first but help is available from your nearest citizen's advice, so don't let the form put you off applying. If you'd prefer to do it yourself you can follow the citizen's advice guide on how to fill in your claim form here. Full details of how to get the application form by post or over the phone can be found on the Gov. UK website here. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday. Sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. What happens if I am about to reach state pension age? If you're thinking about applying for attendance allowance when you reach state pension age, you might be better off claiming PIP or ADP straight away. If you claim PIP and get it, the amount you get will depend on your circumstances and how your disability or illness affects you. Find out more about claiming PIP on the Gov. UK website here. Who cannot claim attendance allowance? You won't be able to get attendance allowance if you already get PIP or DLA to pay for your care. If you apply for attendance allowance while getting DLA, the DWP will usually reassess your DLA award instead. You can renew your PIP or DLA when the existing award ends as long as you still meet the eligibility criteria. If your renewal is unsuccessful you can apply for attendance allowance instead. Find out more about attendance allowance on the Gov. UK website here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.